So guys, another type of inflammation that could result from, um, as a result of acute inflammation is what we call the serous type of inflammation. All right. So the serous type of inflammation um, in here will be defining it and be talking about the characteristics. And you guys will also see images that have the serous type of what inflammation. Okay. So you can see this is what a typical example of what we call a serous inflammation. All right. See here. Okay, so defining it now, we said that serous inflammation is a form of inflammation where the predominant feature is the production of a serum-like exudate. Okay, so this exudate is, is, if you take it out, the fluid is thin and it's like what? A serum. Okay, that's why they call it serous. So now the fluid may be derived from increased capillary permeability. That means what? Fluid is coming out from the blood vessels into the interstitium. Do you understand? Uh, it may be derived from increased capillary permeability, as may occur in the early stages of acute inflammation, or it may be as a result from what active secretions of our cells, which are lining body cavities. Okay, so this is how a serous inflammation will look like. If you look as if you pour water, water droplets. All right. That's what we call a serous fluid, which is like a serum. Okay. So now this serous inflammation is marked by an outpouring of a thin fluid that is depending on the size of the injury. Okay. And this thin fluid can be derived from either plasma or secretions of the mesothelial cells, which are lining the peritoneal, pleural, or pericardial cavities. So basically, what cells that are lining body cavities. All right. So now, if it is derived from the cells that are lining the body cavities, and if there's accumulation of fluid in these body cavities, that's what we call effusion. So if it is in the peritoneal, it's a peritoneal effusion. If it's in the pleural, it's a pleural effusion. If it's in the pericardial, it's a pericardial effusion, okay? So now, the skin blisters resulting from a bone or viral infections represent a large accumulation of serous fluid either within or immediately beneath the dermis, epidermis of the skin, all right? You see, this is what we call a blister, all right? So this blister represents what? Accumulation of fluid. Of course, you know that what this accumulation of fluid inside here, all right? So this accumulation of fluid, uh, that's what? It represents accum large accumulation of serous fluid, which is either within, okay? Could be within the skin, or just beneath the epidermis of the skin. All right, you guys, this is what is known as what serous type of inflammation. We spoke about the characteristics and the definition of what a serous inflammation is. As you see, guys, please turn.